I learned never give up, just believe. We will win. Sorry, cancer. You lost. The inaugural season of the new PWBA was a resounding success, and no one enjoyed more than Player of the Year Liz Johnson. With three titles, including two majors, she certainly proved she was one of bowling's best. Tonight, she tries to continue that success in 2016 at the PWBA Las Vegas Open. From fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, it is time to continue the 2016 PWBA season in style. Four of the world's best bowlers look to win a championship at the PWBA Las Vegas Open Finals. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. It's great to have you with us. This is Dave Ryan. I'll be joined by USBC Hall of Famer Carolyn Dord Ballard in a moment. This is the second of 13 telecasts on CBS Sports Network of the PWBA Tour, including all four major championships. Let's check our stepladder finals for today. We start with the number one seed, Shannon Pulhowski from Dayton, Ohio. She went 5-1 in match play, averaging 250 in her final three games, hopes to win her first ever PWBA title. The same goes for the second seed, Sandra Gangoria from Monterey, Mexico. She rolled a 275 to edge out PWBA superstar Liz Johnson. For the two seed, Liz, the reigning player of the year, she's won seven majors. Rocio Restrepo of Colombia is the four seed. Extensive international experience, but she has never won on the PWBA Tour. But Carolyn Doran Ballard has. You had a great career now in the Hall of Fame. The tour returned a year ago after being dormant for so long. What did that mean for women's bowling? Um, I think it was absolutely awesome. You know, it definitely was away way too long. And last year, you could see with, with the people that came out to support it, we had veterans, we had newcomers, we had collegiate players. Definitely was a success. This year is even better, and it's starting out fantastic with this show. Lots of international flavor, lots of American Champions going for another win here today. That includes Shannon Pulhowski trying for her first ever tour title after a lot of Team USA experience. It's amazing because she's always a contender and it's hard to believe that she has not won a PWBA national title. But being the number one seed is going to give her best opportunity to get that first victory. But Liz Johnson has. She's a reigning player of the year for a reason, trying for a great start to 2016. First of all, Liz Johnson is by far one of the best bowlers of our time and she always manages to get to the show. It doesn't matter whether she's first or fourth. She she is going to be the person to beat on this show, especially coming off that Player of the Year race. We can't wait. Las Vegas Open Finals on CBS Sports Network from Sin City. It's going to be fun to watch some tremendous bowling on CBS Sports Network. Stop number two of the PWBA season in 2016. We can't wait. It's coming up from Las Vegas right after this. It'll be time to bowl. When you love something, you want it to be around for future generations. Johnson needs it. That's it. Oh, 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 oh. USBC works to ensure a future for the sport of bowling at all levels for people of all ages. The USBC and you, a future for the sport. Didn't I tell you to decorate their Buick? You did, but that's not a Buick. Yes, it is. Oh, Buick makes it convertible. So which car did you decorate? Uh-oh. <laughs> the all-new Cascada. It's a convertible, and yes, it's a Buick. Now current lessees, switch to Buick and get this low mileage lease on this all-new Cascada convertible for around $369 per month. Sir, this alien life form is growing at an alarming rate. Growing fast, you say? We can't contain it anymore. Oh. You know, that reminds me of how Geico's been the fastest growing auto insurer for over 10 years straight. Over 10 years? Mm hmm. Geico's the company your friends and neighbors trust. And deservedly so. Indeed. Geico. Expect great savings and a whole lot more is in the air because now you're free to watch your direct tv with unlimited data from at&t so snowbound family you're now free people stuck in this elevator man in a trunk guy caught in a spider web 
and couple trapped in this relationship, you're all now free to enjoy a whole bunch of stuff. Seize the data! Get unlimited data when you have AT&T Wireless and Direct TV. Switch and get up to 615 credits per line. I would like three weeks vacation. Two is standard. I'm not standard. Three weeks. Okay. Let go and enjoy the bold margarita. Limerita. Big play, big play, baby, big play. Is that Mike? Yeah, he lost his wallet or something. He's on his way. Classic Mike. The V-Dub's Fast Break Lunch Menu. Fast, affordable lunches with a side of serious sports action. Dine-in or takeout. Weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The PWBA Las Vegas Open on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Smithfield. Flavor hails from Smithfield. Get inspired at smithfield.com today. By Nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. And by A Future for the Sport. The USBC and BPAA are working together to build a future for the sport of bowling at all levels. Visit bowl.com or bpaa.com today to find out more. We are ready to bowl. Las Vegas Open Finals. In our first match, CEO Estrepo, the four seed from Colombia against American superstar Liz Johnson from Cheek to Waga, New York, just outside Buffalo. <sighs> Liz starts her day. Flush strike. Great Perfect. start by Liz, as always. You can always count on Liz to be, you know, lined up as soon as the game starts. She's so mentally prepared, and you could, you could see it on the first shot. She takes that deep breath right before she starts her approach. Rostrepo, former star at Wichita State. Big four. Tough leave. Rocio, one of the higher rev players out here, gets that ball just left of where she had been playing in practice. First shot, possibly a little bit of jitters, pays the penalty for it. I mean, she, she's been on TV before, but, you know, this is for a major championship, so it's, it's different. It's a PWBA national title. Open early frame for Restrepo. A future for the sport. Lane pattern, what do you see here, Carolyn? Well, we had a little bit of a higher scoring pattern, 39 feet, 25 milliliters of oil. It actually played a little bit shorter than you would think on, a, on this is a medium to longer pattern. Straighter players started playing right here between six and 10. The hook players, higher rev players were a little bit more from about 15 out to that area. And that's what created the higher scores. That comes in a touch high too, four seven standing for Rocio. Now lives in Louisville, Ohio, not far from Akron. But extensive experiences we talked about internationally with the Colombian national team. Lots of wins, lots of medals, and success. But looks for her first ever PWBA tour title here. Picks up the spare. Got to make her feel a little better after the big four. Absolutely, and, and you know, she's such a student of the game, very athletic, works very hard at her game. So, you know, those first few shots when you haven't been on TV in a while, okay, I mean, for everybody, they're a little nerve wracking. <sighs> Reigning player of the year. What? Wow, what a start. 
Back to back jacks for Liz Johnson. Perfect early form. Liz is a great bowler to watch. Four step approach gets that ball right into her swing. Gets bigger towards she get as she gets towards the line. But look at her knee bend and look where her chin is right right over her knee just very slightly follows right through her target and that's how she creates ball speed is with her leverage into the line there is no pull down or muscle in her swing at all ten pin this time Liz actually threw this one a little bit harder. Ball didn't quite come in as high as the last two shots. Leaves the flat 10. But once again, here's the key to Liz's game. She constantly controls the pocket. She's constantly controlling the 1-3. Leaves herself, you know, a spare that she can make. Seven-time major champion. Takes care of the mark. To stay clean early. Our Las Vegas Open Finals. Qualifying match play, Texas Station. The top four to the stepladder format. CO, nine pin stands this time for her, trying to find that one three pocket. She actually moved a little left on this right lane. Once again, a couple reasons for that. Remember, I talked about the lane pattern. We're going to see right here on this shot. She gets the ball down into her swing and really stretches out towards the end. Definitely moved a little deeper. Crossing about 12 to the arrows. Getting it out to about nine. Keeping that angle in the front just a little bit more in front of her than getting it so far down lane. And that's what we saw during the week. Fourteen years, a member of Team Columbia. Got started at 15 years old. Hard to believe, such a young age. Youngest ever to compete in the World Championships from her country. See if that international experience, all that excellence at that level pays off here. That's better, all 10 down, she loves it. Great shot by Rocio. Again, moved. Moved a little bit left on this lane also, but got that one just a little bit further right. Stayed with it. High flush. A little emotion. Back to Liz. What? The frame. Looking good. Three strikes, first four frames for Liz Johnson. Even though Liz is going a little bit straighter through the front, obviously playing a little bit further right, her break point is still at nine. When she gets to that eight, nine area, her ball comes in just a little bit more heavy in the, on the head pin. When she hits that 10, 11, just gets down the lane, just that extra foot where she, we saw she left that flat 10. Push. That it does. Halfway home, great start, 32 pin lead for Liz Johnson. Lucio, along with Sandra Gongora, one of our college teammates at Wichita State, won the intercollegiate team titles in 07 and 09. Won in 2009, a record setting ninth championship for that great program at Wichita State. What tradition. I was going to say they all looked young, but they still look young. <laughs> It's because they are. <laughs> Nine pin again for Rocio. It's apparent right now, I think this right lane is hooking up just a little bit earlier for Rocio. Comes in really high on the head pin, but gets a break. Trips out that four pin, only leaving the nine. There's an eye pin. She told us yesterday had that experience at Wichita State, something she'll never forget, really helped develop her. 
She was already an international star yeah, really from Colombia when she came to Wichita State, but you can really make the next step in collegiate bowling, right? Absolutely, and you know, as we're gonna talk about throughout the show, the international players have caught up immensely to really where where we were, because America was always, you know, the leader had the most medals. By far, that gap is now officially closed. I mean, they are they are here to compete. In the Ten pin this time. One of the really great things about Rocio's game is if you see her from start to finish, very low to the line. Stays, I mean, she gets in her position. Once she gets moving towards the line, her body never moves until after the shot's over and then she gets excited. Great tempo. And she told us yesterday that was gonna be so important. There's the 10, there's the mark. But a good lead and a great start for Liz Johnson in match number one of the Las Vegas Open Final from Sin City. The PWBA superstar Liz Johnson tries to advance next. Welcome to Stouffer's Fit Kitchen, where world-class chefs meet top-notch nutritionists. Prime cuts of meat, 25 grams of protein, bold flavorful sauces, and savory mouth-watering sides. It's the perfect balance of delicious and nutritious. Making it just the right fit for you. Stouffer's Fit Kitchen Meals. This is fit. Yes, this is the biggest mini ever. And to answer your next question, it still most definitely performs like a mini. Introducing the new Mini Clubman, made in Oxford, England. I would like three weeks vacation. Two is standard. I'm not standard. Three weeks. Okay. For some great PWBA gear, then visit the official online store of the PWBA at shoppwba.com. Great gear at the website, great bowling here in Las Vegas. Match number one, stepladder finals of the 2016 Las Vegas Open Finals. Liz Johnson looks for the turkey, six frame, and a 43 pin lead. Eight pin. Fantastic shot by Liz. Again, look at the replay here. Gets that ball right out to eight, nine. Keeps it in front of her. I mean, that, that just was a great shot. Ball went to the right of the eight pin. There's the eight. She talked about it last night still. Her greatest moment, she says, despite all the championships she's won, first woman to make a PBA telecast, 05, reach the finals. 
in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Beat West Malak in the banquet open. Eventually lost to Tommy Jones. And that's something. Again, she looks so young. <laughs> 2005, I called 2005, that. 2005, yeah. There's a strike again for Liz, Thanks making history in 05, continuing in 2016. And does that surprise you that the highlight of her career is still that 05 banquet open? No, I, I mean, that's just, it's something different. You know, it's not something she's doing every week competing out on the PBA tour. So I could see where that would be one of her highlights. And, and honestly, she's really done it all. In, in women's bowling, so it almost becomes second nature to her. Not that she takes it for granted, but it's just, hey, you know what, I belong here and I'm gonna take advantage of it. And I, th I admire that. There's a 10 pin for Rocio. Much better shot by Rocio. I like the fact that she's getting the ball a little bit further to the right. Even though it came in half pocket right here, she moved a little left, but she got this one definitely further right, got it out to about eight, nine down the lane. Just a little bit of half pocket, pin goes in front of the 10. This is one of the moves where it's not so much, you didn't move left or right on the lane, you really can controlled your ball speed a little bit more. And as we can see with Rosie, she says sometimes she throws it really hard. That's one of her assets is that she has very good ball speed. Right now, she might want to not break it down just a little bit, get that ball to roll up just about a foot sooner. Stat pack, our match so far. Keep you updated. As Johnson struck five or seven times, only one for Rocio. Come on, baby, right here, right now. Come on. Struck in the fourth frame. And she knows the time is now. Big deficit to come back from. Needed that one. Crunching all 10 down into the pit with her best shot of the day. Great shot here. Rolls that ball right off her hand. Has a lot of axis rotation. As soon as she let it go, her face shows it all. But definitely slowed down her ball speed just a little bit. That ball rolled up. Perfect shot. Her pacing, her arm swing, I think she told us last night was so important. Hook a little. That's for that eight pin. Thank you. She'll take it. Sometimes even the superstars get a break. She said it owes her for the eight pin. Liz miss hit this one just a little bit at the bottom. You could see it when she let it go. But all three pins in the back decided to be two pin. She'll take it. 11-year member of Team USA as well. So much success. Every level, as Carolyn talked about. Another one. 53-pin lead foundation frame strike for Liz Johnson. And Carolyn, she told us last night, the competitive fire is still burning. I still want to win a lot of tournaments. No, oh, she's got a great future still ahead of her. I mean, she's kept herself in shape. Again, student in the game. And one of the keys to Liz, she doesn't try to be something she isn't. She sticks to her basics, and she makes it work. She's a master of her game. Sandra Gongora, as we saw the two seed for Mexico, is next. We'll see you. Oh, another perfect one-three pocket hit and a strike for her. We'll need a huge comeback here late. And for Liz to fall apart late, which is unlikely for the reigning player of the year. She had hoped to bowl against Sandra, her former Wichita State teammate. The two are still very close. Well, Liz was locked in from the beginning. Once Liz gets out ahead, it's, it's very hard to catch her because, again, like I said, she controls the pocket so well, and her mental toughness gets her through the tough shots. Rocio has found a really nice path to the one-three pocket, but is it too late? Well, like we talked about, you know, if you're not on a show for a while, 
you know, you're, you know, your anxiety and you're excited, and it is. Sometimes it's really hard to calm yourself down, which is where the veteran in Liz Johnson knows how to do that immediately. There's a four. Yeah, that big four to open up this match. Really all Liz needed. Another good shot by Rocio. Little high in the pocket. Pins all over the deck. Nothing trips out the four. But she'll, you know, one of the great things about Rocio, again, student of the game, works really hard, always practicing. She'll take this, she'll take this moment and she'll reflect back on it and learn from it. Liz basically just has to keep on the lane here to wrap up this match and advance on to take on the number two seed, Sandra Gongora from Mexico. Looking for the messenger spinning across the deck, but does not take out the 10 pin. Mark. And it's over officially now. So Liz will get on to the next round. Shannon Plahowski is our top seed. He's hoping for her first ever PWBA Tour title. Liz Johnson, a winner over Rocio Restrepo from Colombia. All Liz all the time. Eight strikes in the match, plenty. A great start, all she needed, and Rocio had the open with a big four. Liz Johnson took advantage. Easy win, she bowls Gongora next. Competitors of all ages, bowling is for life. And USBC is with you every step of the way. USBC and you, a future for the sport. Didn't I tell you to decorate their Buick? You did, but that's not a Buick. Yes, it is. Oh. Buick makes it convertible. So, which car did you decorate? Uh-oh. <laughs> the all-new Cascada. It's a convertible. And yes, it's a Buick. Now current lessees. Switch to Buick and get this low mileage lease on this all-new Cascada convertible for around $369 per month. Hi, neighbors. Come on in. Oh, thanks so much for having us over. Oh, uh, why are you wearing those helmets? Oh, we just saved money on our auto insurance by insuring both of our cars with the General. Oh, how about some coffee? Right this way? At the General, you can get an anonymous online quote in minutes with low payments and a choice of payment due date. Good cupcakes. Good insurance advice. Get your anonymous online quote today. <laughs> For a great low rate you can get online, go to the General and save some time. Fathers who use steel pass down more than their tools. They pass down values. This Father's Day, give dad a gift that works as hard as he does. Like dependable steel trimmers, starting at just $129.95, and legendary steel chainsaws, start at just $179.95. Real dads, steel dads. Find your Father's Day gift today at steeldealers.com. Hey, can I get you any starters? Yes, I'm glad you asked. For starters, enough with the Major League Baseball All-Star Game counting for home field for the World Series. Imagine this concept. The team with the best record gets home field advantage in the World Series. Write that down. And I'd like a coffee, please. Oh, okay. Following the USBC Queens, the second event, the 2016 PWBA Tour season, the Las Vegas Open Finals. From here in fabulous Las Vegas, Shannon Blahowski, the lefty looking for a first ever tour title. He's the top seed winning the winner of this match. 
Sandra Gondora from Monterrey, Mexico, and American superstar Liz Johnson, who has 10 standard PWBA tour titles, four majors, also three other non-PWBA major titles. She has done it all. Nice win over Restrepo in the first match. Not the best hit of the day, but could have been a lot worse. 2-4. This is one of those shots where Liz just basically gets it a little bit more right in the front part of the lane. She gets it a little bit further right down lane. That This gets out to almost 7-8. She's been keeping it around that 9-10 area and didn't roll through it. One of the keys that she wants to stick to is rolling it off her hand because she's got to get her ball to read the front part of the lane. It's our two seed, Sandra Gangora, 30 years old from Mexico. As we talked about with Rocio Rostrepo, two-time member of the ITC Women's Team Championship run at Wichita State. 09 Collegiate Bowler of the Year for the Shockers. Looking for a good start here in Vegas, and that's what you want. Wow, 60 feet to success, a perfect first delivery to the 1-3 pocket. Sandra, one of the higher rev players out here on tour, big fan. I'm a big fan. She gets the ball into her swing actually a little bit later, but look at how she stretches out, which gets her actually back in time, doesn't pull down on it, and look at the leverage at the bottom of that swing. I mean, unbelievable. I, I've been a huge fan for the longest time, and there's just no muscle there right off her hand. Like Rocio, longtime member of the national team from Mexico as well. He's a two pin this time. 15 years. He started back in 2002, and she's only 30 years old. She said one of the things she's really been working on, uh, you know, before coming out on tour was because she naturally throws it so hard, she's trying to slow down her ball speed just a little bit. Graphic designer. And she designed the jersey she's wearing today. Little Mexican flag influence there. I love it. How many bowlers do that? Any player who converts a 7-10 split on our CBS Sports Network finals will receive a $100,000 bonus courtesy of Ultimate Bowling Products. No one wants to leave a 7-10, but boy, if you make it, that's incredible. Back to Liz. She is a bit off looking for the pocket after that amazing first match. She'll, Liz will start seeing a little bit of transition here. This is what happened during the week as the higher rev players bumped it to the left, getting their ball to the right. Oil is carrying down, which now is allowing Liz's ball because she's a little bit right of it. She needs to keep playing that hold because it's going down the lane just a little bit longer. She's going to have to do two things, either slow up her ball speed just a little bit, she may have to change balls to something a little bit stronger. As Liz told us last night, she loves these grinded out matches where <laughs> shot making's a premium. She doesn't like necessarily bowling and strike fests and trying to outscore somebody that way with a perfect type game. So early, it's shaping up like that right now. Watch live early round coverage of all PWBA events, plus live and on-demand coverage of all the best professional bowling action on Extra Frame. Visit www.extraframe.tv for more info or to subscribe today. It's the great Kelly Kulik. Not only one of the competitors, of course, on the PWBA tour, but one of our colleagues on the commentator side. Did a great job in Wichita, collegiate championships this year. over and a little Brooklyn strike there for Sandra. She'll take it. This is where she gets a little bit ahead of herself. This is what she's been working on. Drops that ball really quick, but see how much straighter through the front here she is? She's been getting that ball this way down the lane, and because it was a little bit straighter in the front, 
She did get the break and get the Brooklyn, but she just needs to make sure to project that ball to the right. She needs to wait on the ball a little bit longer. She has late timing. Can't get too early. Gets a little bit ahead of herself. As she told us last night, a power player. And when you're working with that kind of rev rate and that kind of velocity, the timing has got to be just right. Fourth frame. Real good shot. Much better. 6-10 stand. Definitely a much better shot. Definitely projected that one a little bit further right. But still goes a little bit high, so it's time for her to make a move. She can have to move deeper, or one of the keys that the higher rev players did during the week was they kept their feet the same. They moved their eyes to the right to allow themselves to project the ball further down the lane. 6 10 cover there by Sandra. And when you're talking about moving to the left or right, making adjustments, that's where the experience of Elizabeth Johnson comes in. So we'll see how Sandra, with her extensive international experience, but no TV experience until now. How does it all play in when it comes to a really key strategical movement? Oh, that's got to roll. She didn't like it at all. And again, that could have been a lot worse. Liz made a ball change, I believe, last frame. Went to a, a strong asymmetrical ball. But as you can see, her body popped up just a little bit at the foul line. And Liz's key is really keeping her leverage, her legs underneath her to allow that ball to roll off of her hand. Needs to get her legs back underneath her and trust in what she's doing. Stays clean with a single pin conversion. No opens yet. Strepo had the early big four in the open to begin her match in the first or a step ladder finals. That was all Liz needed. Pounced on that opportunity. But this is much different as the lanes transition. It's the pocket again, but a pretty good pin count on a great shot with a two stand. She didn't like it, though. You could hear right at the foul line. She got out of it really quick, mishit it again just a little bit, which is really unlike Liz. I mean, this is her bad shot. When she mishits it a little bit, she still gets the ball to the pocket. Left the nine count. She's going to just have to slow down her feet a little bit just to keep it going and keep her tempo where she needs it, where she can roll it off her hand. This is going to be a really close match. Great to see Frank DeSocio, the BPAA executive director here. On hand with us in Vegas to watch this tremendous bowling action. Las Vegas Open Finals. And anyone's match. Shanapolhowski, the top seed, the lefty awaits. Halfway point. Sandra finds that pocket perfectly. Wow. Shrapnel everywhere. Crunching 10 down into the pit. Okay, these are the last two shots that Sandra threw on this right lane. Misses way left of her target. You can see her body position and everything. Now look at this shot. Much better body angle. Look at where the ball is already projecting off her hand to the right. That's what she needs to continue to do. Looks for the double six frame. No help. Almost. Ten pin stands. Ball comes in just half pocket. Enough to leave that stubborn ten pin. Sandra grew up around the game in Mexico. Mom Lupita represented. Mexican national team many times, a lefty, and she competed overseas. Often as Sunder was growing up, there's a 10 pin. The two are very close now. Lots of FaceTime, lots of texting. Mom hopes Sandra can get a win today against the great Liz Johnson. 
In the not so distant future, someone will ask, where were you when? You were with us. CBS Sports, then, now, and always. Before you open your eyes, at Smithfield, we're busy slow smoking. Before you sizzle, we hand select and hand trim. <laughs> Before you were born, we gave birth to flavor, which you'll find in every bite of our naturally delicious hickory smoked bacon. Flavor hails from Smithfield. Hey, searching for a great used car? Yeah. You got it. Just say, show me millions of used cars for sale at the theallnewcarfax.com. I don't want one that's had a big wreck. Just say, show me cars with no accidents reported. Pretty cool. I like it. That's the power of Carfax. Find the cars you want, avoid the ones you don't. Plus, you get a free Carfax report with every listing. Start your used car search at Carfax.com. Folks, you can't make this stuff up. Four bandits chose a Prius as their getaway car. Bravo, Niner. In pursuit of a Toyota Prius. Over. How hard is it to catch a Prius? Over. This thing is actually pretty fast. Over. Very funny. Oh, look, a farmer's market. We should get some flowers for the car. Ah, well. Holy! <laughs> Toyota, let's go places. What's that? Well, this is my equation for success. I've developed the four Ps. Mm -hmm. Politeness, mm -hmm. patience, mm -hmm. practice, mm -hmm. and promotion. Yeah! Oh! New Watermelon from Limerita, the bold margarita. If you teach someone to fish, you might never see them again. This summer, Bass Pro Shops want you to join the movement and take someone fishing. And there's no better place to get someone started than the Bass Pro Shops Gone Fishing event. Plus, great gifts for dad, like select men's cargo shorts for under $15, XPS hard bait kits for under $11. Plus, this week, get a gift card worth up to $100 when you pay with your Bass Pro Shops MasterCard. Back here in Vegas, Las Vegas Open Finals, starting with 89 entries to a 1.25 average score to cash. Shannon Plohowski is the top seed. Kelly Kula just out of the show, the fifth slot. Wei Fan Nu from Singapore, part of that amazing Team Singapore, along with Jazz Real Tan, a good showing. Excellent, Daniel McEwen once again. Making the, I mean, she's always in contention. Jerry Frank Amano, general manager, Texas Station Bowling Center. Boy, I've known him a long time. I remember him from the East Coast, a lot of scratch tournaments. What a great guy, and boy, does he love bowling. Right next to Chad Murphy, USBC Executive Director. Hook a little. Did it? 10 pin. Not the ball reaction she wants. Liz making another ball change, going to a stronger symmetrical ball. <laughs> Try to get it to roll up just a little bit sooner. Gets down the lane just a, just a little bit further, still leaving that light 10 pin. I don't want to say that was a flat one, that was a light 10 pin, not a half pocket. Strategy, adjustments. It looks to me that Liz is throwing it a little bit harder than she was that first match. She is sensing the transition, and one of the things that Liz will do when sensing the transition with the higher rep players is she will get right of it and stay even more direct, which she can do with the best thing because once again, once they start to break down the front, she can just amp up her ball speed. Left lane, she's got five out of eight attempts for strikes, and on the right lane, four out of nine. Eight strikes in the opening match. Five. Just one of the second, make it two. 
Much better pass in the 1-3 pocket for Liz Johnson. Keeping things very interesting here with Sandra Gongora from Mexico. Definitely got out of that one a little bit cleaner. Rolled through it. You could see that ball pick up just that one or two feet earlier. Give her the action she needs. Someone's grown up around Ooh. the game. Look at Sandra, no strikes on the left lane. On the right lane, three. So we can see which lane she likes better. Yeah! Help on number 10, down it goes. Gets that ball right to the right of that range finder down lane. That is her key. We could hear Sandra during the break was talking with Del Ballard and Clara Guerrera. And they were talking about the range finder. She needed to get her ball to the right of the range finder. That was her key. Four for four on that right lane. Now it's the left lane where she is not struck. Can she adjust? Across the deck, but no help this time on the 10 pin. Really great shot off her hand. The angle was what she wanted. She got it to the right of the range finder. But look at this pin go right across the deck right in front. Just a bad break of the messenger. <laughs> Just a little bit of an angle on the way that pin was hit. Single pin conversion, a really and, close match here. And early on, when they started this match, Sandra did have the left lane hooking earlier for her, which now you can see she's starting to make the move to the left. Sandra's message to us yesterday, it's a victory just making the TV show for the first time in her career. But she has more than held up her end with a tremendous effort so far against the reigning player of the year. for a double and a lead. Yes, Liz Johnson responds. Big strike. Definitely cleaner off her hand, much straighter through the front, has made the move to the right. You could see that ball starts at about the eight board. Flush into the pocket, smoother motion, I apologize. I believe she's in an asymmetrical ball. I said, I said symmetrical earlier, so that was my mistake. What that's going to do is that's going to even out that pattern for her, give her that smoother look down lane. Clean match so far. Hey. Continues. Foundation frame strike and the turkey. The lead expands to 17 pins now for Liz Johnson. Sandra works on a spare in the ninth. Janet Blahowski works for her first ever tour title out of Dayton, Ohio, Southpaw. She awaits the winner. Came in high, baby split. 310. Once again, definitely did not get this ball as right. She was getting it here on her last shot, way inside of where that range finder is. And you can see as it went right through the face. And can't convert, leaves the 10, late open frame. And look at the lead for Liz Johnson, up to 30 pins with that crucial miss for Sandra. Just didn't get far enough right to get in between that 310. The dreaded 310. I've seen that a hundred times. <laughs> Need to get it in between there. And with a little bit of hook on the lane, if you don't get it far enough right, ball picks up just enough to chop it. Well, that's a disaster so late in the match. And boy, that looks familiar.
This is where she gets just a little bit quick with her push. She says she, she has a little bit of late time, and we talked about that already. She said when she gets a little quick, what happens is her swing gets a little out of line, and she can't get it back in, which then causes her hand to come over the top of the ball and stay underneath it before getting around it. Converts this time on the baby split. Unfortunately, that open in the ninth really did her in. 30-pin lead for Liz Johnson. There you go. That's how you make it. Hit to the right of the three, goes right into the 10. There's a 10-pin. A 186 to wrap up this match for Sandra Gondora, the two seed from Mexico. Liz Johnson just needs four pins on this shot to shut out Gongora on the bench. She told us she loved to grind out these close matches because that's where experience comes into play, and Liz Johnson has done it again. She will take on Shannon Blahowski for the Las Vegas Open Finals Championship. An impressive win for Liz, who stayed clean and made the adjustments. Liz Johnson, American superstar, will take on fellow American bowler Shannon Lohowski for the Las Vegas Open Finals Championship. It wasn't easy. A grind-out victory for the superstar, Liz Johnson. When we come back, Carolyn takes us through the visualization process. For generations, you've celebrated the holidays with Smithfield and our hand-trimmed, slow-smoked hams. It's a flavor so genuine, we could only do one thing. Cut it. Smithfield Anytime Favorites the legendary taste you crave. Sliced and diced to satisfy your craving anytime. Flavor hails from Smithfield. Didn't I tell you to decorate their Buick? You did, but that's not a Buick. Yes, it is. Oh, Buick makes it convertible. So which car did you decorate? Uh-oh. <laughs> The all-new Cascada. It's a convertible, and yes, it's a Buick. Now current lessees, switch to Buick and get this low mileage lease on this all-new Cascada convertible for around $369 per month. Welcome to Stouffer's Fit Kitchen, where world-class chefs meet top-notch nutritionists. Prime cuts of meat, 25 grams of protein, bold flavorful sauces, and savory mouth-watering sides. It's the perfect balance of delicious and nutritious. Making it just the right fit for you. Stouffer's Fit Kitchen Meals. This is fit. Next to your vehicle's engine, your transmission is the most important component of your car. If it's not properly maintained, your car may not shift properly. By adding Lucas Transmission Fix to your transmission, it cleans and lubricates sticking valves for proper shifting, renews worn bands to stop slipping, stops seal leaks, will not void new car warranties, contains no harmful solvents. Lucas Transmission Fix, it works. Hey there, starting your search for the right used car? I don't want one that's had a bunch of owners. Just say, show me cars with only one owner. Find the cars you want, avoid the ones you don't. Plus, you get a free Carfax report with every listing. It's perfect. Start your used car search at Carfax.com. I would like three weeks vacation. Two is standard. I'm not standard. Three weeks. Okay. We're always up for a new challenge. We take pride in every project and every square foot. With Kubota's full lineup of subcompact and compact tractors, we tear down, build up, and create landscapes. We plant, grow, and harvest. 
We are Kubota. This is what we do. Six straight strikes for Liz Johnson in the second match to knock off Sandra Gongora. 237-186, she'll take on Shannon Blahowski in the championship match from here in Las Vegas. Bowling is not only throwing a ball, but visualizing your shot and technology can help. As we find out in this week's installment of the USBC Bowling Academy with Carolyn and world-renowned coach Rob Ross. Visualization is a really important part of bowling. It starts way back in the settee area before you even pick up the bowling ball. The great thing about visualization is it's something you can practice at home. It's all about closing your eyes, visualizing that perfect shot off your hand and watching the motion as it goes down the lane, hitting the pocket. Rod, we have a great tool here at the ITRC for visualization. Yeah, we, we have what we call the goggles, and the goggles is a neat innovation that we have that we actually can see what a bowler is looking at. So even though the bowler is visualizing what they want the ball to do in transition going down, we can actually see what they're looking at when they pick up the ball and the motion that the ball is making down the lane. The interesting thing that we found so far is there's a distinct difference between mid-level bowlers and high-end bowlers. Our mid-level bowlers their eyes are all over the place. They kind of think they're looking at a target and they'll jump off to the left, jump off the right, look up and down, and they'll swear they're looking at the target. But when we get to the advanced bowlers, elite bowlers, what have we seen? With the elite bowlers, usually what we watch is our break point from down the lane back towards the foul line. That allows us to watch the lane back to front, front to back. Very rarely do we look side to side. And what's interesting is we've seen it on generations, on, you know, different generations brought somewhere based off target and they stay focused on that one target at the end. Others that we're seeing on the new players are constantly moving up and back, but everything's in linear, front, back, up in the lane. Nothing going horizontal and side to side. One of the great things I found with the goggles is it really showed me on some of the shots where I really thought I hit my target and I was getting my ball to that break point. It showed me by fact that I was not hitting my target, so it, it brought out some points that I needed to work on. Yeah, we've actually seen too, some players have been in very almost astounded at how much their head moves around. With the goggles on there, we can actually see how much their heads are moving around. Some players even close their eyes at the moment of release. They're trying to get that little extra stuff on the bowling ball, and they actually close their eyes. They don't believe it until they actually see it on these goggles. And it actually, once their mind sees it, just like the visualization, then they'll believe it, then they can do it. So actually what you're telling me is the goggles, and you're telling me I'm not perfect. Oh, wow. <laughs> how do you answer that? You don't ride? She's perfect, of course she is. USBC Bowling Academy provides hundreds of hours of high quality instructional videos for bowlers of all skill levels. Learn from Team USA and USBC certified gold coaches, as well as other top pros and instructors. Visit USBCBowlingAcademy.com today for more information. Las Vegas Open Finals Championship match. The lefty Shannon Plahowski from Dayton, Ohio, looks for her first career PWBA Tour title against the legend, the superstar Liz Johnson. Football season never ends. It just gets crazier. Step into the arena as the Sharks swim into the eye of the storm to take a bite out of Tampa Bay. Saturday at 5, there's nothing like arena football on CBS Sports Network. Ah, beautiful day in Baltimore, where most people probably know that GEICO could save them money on car insurance, right? But you see, the thing is, GEICO, well, could help them save on boat insurance too. Oi! OK, I'm ready to come in now. Hello? I'm trying my best. Seriously, I'm, I'm serious. Request to come ashore. GEICO, saving people money on more than just car insurance. The Mini Clubman was crafted in Oxford, England, where each car is engineered, tuned, and customized one at a time. Introducing the new Mini Clubman, our biggest Mini ever. Hey there, starting your search for the right used car? I don't want one that's had a bunch of owners. Just say, show me cars with only one owner. Find the cars you want, avoid the ones you don't. Plus, you get a free Carfax report with every listing. It's perfect. Start your used car search at Carfax.com. Look at you. You're at the top of your game. You're unstoppable. Nothing can throw you off track. Wait, is that your car? Uh-oh. Yeah, I saw that coming. That will throw you off track. 
You're looking at around 10 grand in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Let's try this again. Smart move. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. I'm getting to it. If you build a winner, they will come. If you can't respect that, your perspective's whack. Now you're gonna go draft another quarterback? I don't I don't love that one. But there's nothing like a good gooey grilled cheese sandwich. That's living. Wait, wait, look over here, look over here. Okay, now I got all four games right on. So you see, son, good manners are important. Should I go through it again? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Exactly. Always say please, thank you, you're welcome. Excuse me, sit up straight, hold doors open for ladies. If the door's locked, knock first. Don't burp, don't swear, don't stare, don't use bad language. Or talk with your mouthful, keep your elbows off the table. What table? And don't interrupt. Cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. On the bus, keep your seat up to anybody who has trouble standing. Bottom line, treat others the way you want to be treated. Got it? Got it. Good talk. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier. And it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Liz Johnson has rolled a 237 to get by Rosiro Estrepo and Sandra Gongora. Now Shannon Pulhowski, she climbs the ladder, is the only bowler left standing between Liz and another PWBA Tour title. Oh. Liz gets us started, championship match. All 10 down, didn't like it on the release. She didn't, did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, but kept it in front of her, rolled it off her hand, ball just tipped enough to blow the rack. Two non-PWBA Tour titles, majors, 06, USBC Queens in Reno, and the BPA Women's All-Star in Rockford, Illinois in 2014. Those are Shannon's titles. The oh, okay. lefty, seven pin. Shannon, another one, has a traditional classic style, great bowler, but her swing bumps just a little bit. But here's how good she is. Look at how it tucks back in. Look at that right next to her ankle, allowing her to keep the ball right in front of her. She likes to go up the lane and allow the ball to do the work. Very smooth at the point of release. There's a seven, there's her mark. 16 time member of Team USA. Four years on Junior Team USA as well. Like Liz, extensive overseas experience. Liz stepping back from the Team USA squad this year to concentrate on a full season of the PWBA Tour. Ball number 10, down it goes. Shannon opted to go with a ball that was a little bit weaker and add some surface to it. Real light, 1,000. Allows her to still keep the ball in front of her, but it's still going to give her a little bit more of the back end reaction like she likes to see. All of her stronger stuff was rolling up just a little bit too soon. She had to change her angles. She wanted to stay as square as possible. Liz looks for eight straight strikes. Going back to the end of the last match with Gongora, but again, this is the 1-3 pocket. But she hasn't paid a big price with splits. Nope. This is the thing about Liz. Her angles get open just a little bit. She miss hits it just a little bit at the bottom. It goes a little bit right, but still, because the ball's rolling, not changing angle too much, just tips that head pen, gets the break with the two pen. That stays perfect on the day on single pin conversions. Chad Murphy's here, executive director of the USBC. Any player converts a 7-10 split on our CBS Sports Network finals will receive a $100,000 bonus courtesy of Ultimate Bowling Products.
Seven stands on a pretty good looking shot. This was a great shot by Liz. This ball really rolled right off her hand, got out of it really clean. She's got a little bit of hold now. Stone seven, that's just a bad break. There's seven. There's the mark. Has the feel of the Gongora match already. Shannon's been waiting, warming up, watching the other two matches, checking in, and then just trying to stay loose. Not easy, right, when you're the top seed? Not really. I mean, you know, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're seeing whatever everybody else is bowling. It's like, oh, 230, 230, am I going to have to shoot 240 to win? But Shannon's really oh, yeah. tough mentally. And I don't think she puts that much pressure on herself. She, it's more about just making good shots. That one she definitely didn't like, but you could see she missed way right. She released it, you could see. This ball was way right of her target. Got that one way inside to the right of that range finder. She was getting it to about seven down lane. Leaves the two seven. Cannot convert the baby split on the two seven, so it's an open frame. And the way Liz is picking up her spares, that could really be damaging for Shannon's chances. Missed the mark again. Timing's off just a little bit. You could see in between her shots, she was trying to get her swing. She was taking some practice shots, just standing there. Again, swing bumps out just a little. Got that ball way left. She missed right on the right lane, missed left on the left lane. This is the thing about also being the only left-hander on the pair. Now, that could play to your advantage or it could play to your disadvantage, just depending on what happens to the transition during your practice shots. Trying to convert the washout and leaves two pins. Two shots. Six, seven. And that back-to-back -back opens is devastating. One of the keys for Shining also is her tempo. Like I said, and that also comes from your swing. She says, if I feel like everything's falling in line, my consistency becomes better. Wow. Quite getting the ball reaction she wanted either to get that one three pocket, two pin stands, but as we've seen, incredibly solid with the single pin conversions. As Liz try to take advantage of the open frames from Shannon. Comes in very light on the pocket, but once again, gets a great break, only leaving the two pin. And she converts again. The mark of the fourth for Liz, inching closer to a title. Told us last night, very happy with the game right now. So ecstatic that the PWBA Tour returned last year after the hiatus. When it shut down, she's 28 years old. She won 11 times. There's some help again. Almost had a shot that seven ten hundred thousand dollar bonus. That was an odd hit. Came All in very light. Down. But she likes this left lane. Ball finishes a little bit stronger on that left lane for her, and knocks out the seven ten. But look at this together. I mean, almost, <laughs> almost simultaneously. Shannon responds with her best shot of the day. Too late, though? Nope, Shannon, ball change. She's decided, you know what, just not working. I need to get comfortable. And sometimes it's all about the ball you're going to throw. Went to a stronger ball with more surface. Definitely hooking up two feet sooner, much better reaction. And once once you see your ball hook, it allows you to loosen up. Good, you know, it builds your confidence, and that's what you're looking for. You only got five frames left. A lot of time. Gosh, Didn't like it at all, and that's the Slow reason. Down. One three six. 
You heard her say it. She got nine, way so. ahead of herself, yep. way ahead of herself. Talking to her, she said, my footwork has to be on target to allow myself to post the shot and my swing to fall into place right there, way ahead of the ball. And you could see her body move just a little bit. That's, that's unlike Shannon, because she's so steady, Eddie, at the foul line. She really is. Just a little quick with the feet, not in the right tempo, and she's paying the price. One through nine does take care of that, but still, Liz Johnson has a nice lead. She'll step on the sixth frame. When we return, PWBA on CBS Sports Network. Honey, did you call the insurance company? Not yet, I'm folding laundry. Can you? No, cleaning the windows. Well, the living room's a disaster. You should see the bathroom. Most insurance companies give you every reason to avoid them. I'm looking for my keys. Plants need planting. Well, the leaves aren't gonna rake themselves. Nationwide is different. Hon, did you call Nationwide to check on our claim? We put members first. Actually, they called me. Nationwide is on your side. This car came courtesy of James and Patricia Thompson. This TV, Margaret and Tom Lee. The championship game ball, that was Sebastian Diaz. Good guy. And all I had to do was ask for their money and pretend I was investing it. Their life savings is now my lifestyle. Don't let someone else live the life you're saving for. Find out if you're dealing with a registered investment professional at Investor.gov. It's a great first step toward protecting your money. Before you invest, Investor.gov. Hey there. Starting your search for the right used car? I am. You got it. Just say, show me millions of used cars for sale at the theallnewcarfax.com. But I don't want one that's had a bunch of owners. Just say, show me cars with only one owner. Pretty cool. It's perfect. That's the power of Carfax. Find the cars you want, avoid the ones you don't. Plus, you get a free Carfax report with every listing. Start your used car search at Carfax.com. People often ask me, they're like, Jim, your dad brand's so strong. What can I do? The most important thing I've taught my children is that they have to do things themselves. I don't want my kids to be part of this lazy culture that doesn't do things. That's why I bring them out here and I beat them at tennis. Probably the best gift I could give my children is to have them lose to me. That's what a dad brand's about. Right now, get a low mileage lease on the all new 2017 Chrysler Pacifica for $269 a month. It's the only pure all-star event in Pro Rodeo, featuring the sport's biggest stars, highest scores, and fastest times. This is as American as it gets. The PRCA Champions Challenge, Saturday at 8 on CBS Sports Network. The Junior Gold Championships will take place July 16th through the 23rd in Indianapolis, Indiana. This elite event features the top youth bowlers in the country competing for a quarter of a million dollars in scholarships in six age-based divisions and a chance to bowl on Junior Team USA. Visit bowl.com backslash Junior Gold for more information. Ms. Johnson has extensive experience worldwide, Team USA. What success. And now tries to close out Shannon Plohowski. Sixth frame. This for a 32 pin lead. Not a bad shot, 10 pin. Great. Great shot by Liz Johnson. During the break, Liz went over, talked to Del Ballard and Jim Callahan, the Storm Roto Grip reps out here on tour. Key to factor, right lane was a little tighter. I just need to keep it in front of me and roll it off my hand. Left lane has a little more friction, like we said, her ball's rolling up just that foot or two sooner. High flush in the pocket. So she's seeing the lane the right way. What was the key before she left the conference? Fill frames. She has to come after you. 11 for 11 now on the day. Single pin spare conversions for Liz. And that's exactly what she's done so far. Just stay steady. No opens. Seventh frame. Another very makeable spare. 6-10. First time she's really went high on that lane, thrown a bad shot. She really has not thrown anything detrimental. It missed a little right, but have, has gotten the break on the two pins. This one misses way left, comes over the top of the ball just a little bit, way inside her target. Way left of the rangefinder. Goes Brooklyn, leaves a 6'10. 
Drew Johnson, three seed, winner of 20 overall professional titles. Reigning player of the year. And early in the season, if this is any indication, the rest of the field better watch out. Absolutely. <laughs> PWPA Tour. The talent level out here this year, I mean, last year it was, it was great. Don't get me wrong. But it just seems oh, now it's just raised to that level uh, with all the international players. Uh, I mean, unbelievable how they've caught up so quickly. Saw that stat on Shannon. Had a great career at Nebraska. Definitely not feeling comfortable. It's really hard to relax when you are trying to fit it and find the reaction. And you know it's getting late in the game, so you just got to step back, take a deep breath, and really try to make the best shot you can. That was a nice conversion. Third and fourth frames, though, real trouble for Shannon in this match. The thing about Shannon, though, is once she does get lined up and comfortable, she can strike a bunch. And it's not as if she's a quitter. I mean, she tries every frame. So, I mean, it's, it's getting late in the game, but it's, it's still doable. Well, starts right here. Got to have strikes for a comeback. There's one, all 10 down in the pit. Great ball reaction. Finds the one-two pocket. You can see on this shot, much more, look how solid she was at the line. You can definitely tell right there. The bad shot, she pulled up out of it. A Little bit more of that upper body movement. That one, rock solid. Great projection onto the lane, great reaction. Eighth frame for Liz. Oh, Had to hurry and didn't find the pocket there. again. But again, just the two pin and a single pin conversion. I'm gonna tell you, that's when you know you're in the right part of the lane because on your bad shots, when you miss hit it, and or get it right off your hand, and you're just leaving the two pin, your ball's still trying to get there, that's when you know you're in the right part of the lane. Just obviously did not make a great shot, but got lucky with the two pin. We saw that 05 banquet open in Grand Rapids, going against West Malott, PBA side. Liz told us last night, she probably watched that 100 times maybe, just the thrill of being, competing with a man in the PBA tour. The winning PWBA tour and her championships last year. She's watched those a lot too. It's a constant reminder. Reinforce idea of victory. She's closing in on that again today. Wow, perfect shot. All 10 down again in the foundation frame for Liz. So steady. And Shannon's a very quick bowler, but you can see her taking just a few extra seconds because these last few frames, she can apply some pressure to Liz. The night for Shannon. Didn't get the break she needed. Six stands. Definitely a much better shot. Her projection was much better. Rolled through that right off her hand. But left the six pin. Definitely a but much better shot. Every time she was left of that range finder, much better shot for her. Ball was definitely in the pocket. But again, like I said, six pin. She need, really needed to strike there to apply some pressure. It's emblematic of the way it's gone in the three matches for Liz. She's gotten the breaks. Single pin conversion for Shannon, and she's made some too. Johnson up by 21 on the bench now. Basically, Shannon's in a must-strike situation. She did go high flush, last shot on this lane. Let's see what she can do. Set.
seven pin on a really good looking shot. Great shot by Shannon. A little late, but she did end on a good note. Her last few shots, much better. Much more in time. You can see as her swing just comes down so much more smooth. Rolls through it. Her angle is just so much better. Wasn't sure about that when she released it, but she does take care of the seven pin for a mark. I'm going to go out on a limb and say I'm sure we're going to see Shannon on a, another show somewhere during the year. I think that's a pretty safe prediction. The way she's bowling. <laughs> Looks like she'll end up short today, though. Against the great Liz Johnson, who's closing in on yet another championship. Shannon, the 172. There's four pins. That's all Liz needs here. Take home the victory. From start to finish, Liz Johnson has done it. Officially her 15th career PWBA Tour title and 21st overall for the legendary Hall of Fame career. Liz inducted last year to the USBC Hall of Fame for good reason. Woo! There she goes. Champion again, Liz Johnson. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I bet you we see her, her on another show this year. <laughs> of course. Reigning hope, player of the year. I hope Wants she's bowling to keep it in. going. <laughs> I do, too. I'd love to call one of your matches. <laughs> Good bowling. Good bowling. Good bowling. She may be a Hall of Famer. She's nowhere near done. Liz Johnson at the top of her game. Handshakes all around. 15th career official PWBA Tour title as she wins the 2016 Las Vegas Open Finals, climbs the ladder and wins three, knocking off Shannon Plahowski for the championship. She knows this time very well, doesn't she? Trophy time for Liz Johnson. A champion again in Las Vegas on the PWBA Tour. Liz Johnson is a winner. Buick, right? Of course I do. i never forget that. The Buick Remote Link app, now available in every Buick. You close all the apartment windows, too. Come on. Really? You're the best. Mm -hmm. Now get 15% below MSRP on select Buick Encore vehicles in stock. That's nearly 4,800 below MSRP on this 2016 Encore. M&M's milk chocolate melts in your mouth. Not in your hands. Can it feel so good? Oh, yeah. And it feels so good. Welcome to Stouffer's Fit Kitchen. Prime cuts of meat, 25 grams of protein, and savory mouth-watering sides. It's the perfect balance of delicious and nutritious, making it just the right fit for you. Stouffer's Fit Kitchen Meals. This is fit. Right now, you can get a super fast car insurance quote online from the general. All you need is one of these, one of these, or one of these, and of course, one of these. Next, you go to thegeneral.com. The general's monthly payments are low. You choose your payment due date and download your proof of insurance immediately or get a digital ID card on your smartphone. Get an anonymous online quote now. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the general and save some time. In the not so distant future, someone will ask, where were you when? I don't believe it, it's a touchdown! You were with us. CBS Sports, then, now, and always. 
The PWBA Las Vegas Open on CBS Sports Network is being brought to you by Smithfield. Flavor hails from Smithfield. Get inspired at smithfield.com today. By Pepsi, the official soft drink of the PWBA Tour. And by Kegel, your lanes, our passion. Let's recap Liz Johnson's championship day. 237-204, win over Rocio Rostrepo of Colombia in the first match. In match two, she matched the same number over Sandra Gongora from Mexico, 237 to 186. In the championship match over the top seed, the lefty Shannon Blahowski, 195 to 172. Key strikes came late in that championship match for Liz Johnson on route to yet another championship. Our Smithfield moment of the match is the ninth frame, and the foundation frame had a huge strike to set the table for a finishing 195 score and another championship. With Jerry Francamano from Texas Station, yet again, Liz Johnson, Hall of Famer and PWBA Tour Superstar is a champion here in Las Vegas. Hey, can I get you any starters? Yes, I'm glad you asked. For starters, enough with the Major League Baseball All-Star Game counting for home field for the World Series. Imagine this concept. The team with the best record gets home field advantage in the World Series. Write that down. And I'd like a coffee, please. Okay. Get in on the fun. Get in on the action. Join our team today. We encourage you to experience the excitement of organized bowling. The USBC and you, a future for the sport. Welcome to Stouffer's Fit Kitchen, where world-class chefs meet top-notch nutritionists. Prime cuts of meat, 25 grams of protein, bold, flavorful sauces, and savory mouth-watering sides. It's the perfect balance of delicious and nutritious. Making it just the right fit for you. Stouffer's Fit Kitchen Meals. This is fit. After 51 days of the pursuit of four bandits who chose a Prius as their getaway car, a new development. Prius owners from all over America have descended on the chase hey! to play what appears to be an automotive shell game with authorities. It's total confusion down here. The Prius 4 have literally vanished. They're just gone. I don't think anyone could have predicted this. Toyota, let's go places. Dad, we need to talk. If you're not gonna listen to me, who will you listen to? Jeffrey. Is that Marcia Gay Harden? I think so. You're getting older. Not that old. Your brain is changing. That's what I was saying. Honey, I've got experience with this. Jeffrey, brain health is all about making the most of your brain as you age. Really? Go. Oh, where did she go? Learn what you can do to help keep your brain healthy at brainhealth.gov. Here's what I don't get. They're always whispering. It bothers me. It bothers the fans. You know it bothers the players always hearing pss, 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 pss. You know, you are overblowing this whole thing. All they're doing is whispering. They're not bothering anybody. And this is his special moment in time, a chance to add to his legacy. Are you done Look. yet? What's the problem? I'm whispering. He's Make the putt. I mean, come on. <laughs> It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. The legend Liz Johnson, player of the year in 2015 on the PWBA Tour, the return of the tour. She wins in 2016 as well. First championship this year for Liz from just outside Buffalo. 
She's done it again. Congratulations to Liz Johnson, a champion again on the PWBA Tier. Coming up next, be sure to join us for the PWBA Sonoma County Open on CBS Sports Network next Tuesday at 9 Eastern. For Carolyn Doran Bauer and the entire CBS Sports Network crew, it's Dave Ryan saying so long from the PWBA Las Vegas.